What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to a very cool video because we predicted that a Steam page for Security Breach would come out today, and it did. Of course, it could have come out with the release of the game on the 16th of December. However, it came out today because Steam says that if you're not releasing it on the same day, you have to release the Steam page two weeks before. Anyway, we have the Steam page now, that's all that matters. And it's looking really cool. It's looking amazing. We also got some really, really cool cover art for it. I'm super excited by this. This art alone is so sick. It's it's incredible. Um, a few things I, I actually quickly want to note about it. We're not going to be talking about this the entire time. But just look, look at how this is rendered. The lighting is incredible, okay? The lighting is so good. Look at Vanny's eyes, the background red glow. Um, it's clear that Vanny is the main antagonist in this. I, I don't think there's going to be another antagonist, apart from Afton, of course, but they're keeping that secret from us. But Vanny is like the main, the main one through the game. Um, the flashlight on Vanessa looks... Vanessa looks amazing. Um, if you remember the first kind of model of Vanessa that we ever saw, this has improved by a thousand percent. So I'm so happy that they improved that. Look at Gregory. Gregory and his watch. Gregory looks a little bit older in this um, than he used to, I think, but I think that's because it is a more developed model. Um, and yeah, the lighting, the blue lighting from his watch, it looks so cool. Um, of course, we have like a laser tag thing on the side. We have trees for Monty's golf course or whatever. There's like a racetrack um, flag, a checkered flag. Um, this looks incredible and I'm, th this alone gets me so, so excited. Um, I think this is one of the best like pieces of artwork we've got from a main FNAF game, I think. It's so good. It's great. It actually feels like um, like a, a movie. Uh, it, it looks like a movie, you know, when if especially like Marvel, when you've got like an Avengers movie and you've got all the characters there, and they're kind of layered on top of each other with the main bad guy, um, at, like in the in the big at the back. Um, in yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. It it looks like a like, like a movie, uh, which is great because this is basically going to be a movie, um, but just interactive. <laughs> a bit more than that, but you know what I mean. So the Steam page. In Five Nights at Freddy's, Security Reach players Gregory, a young boy who's been trapped overnight in inside of Freddy Fazbear's me Mega Pizzaplex with the help of Freddy himself. Gregory must uncover the secrets of the Pizzaplex, learn the truth, and survive until dawn. I do love how it says, learn the truth here. That's, that's great. I love that because we have been talking about Fredbears. We talked about Fredbears yesterday. And I feel like that is going to be the truth of the Pizzaplex. There's also going to be Afton and maybe Pat, the, the past of Freddy Fazbear's and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that that's that's very cool. I also want to point out um, something that I think I have been wrong about for quite a while now, um, and that is how this game is going to work. Um, I've always thought this is going to be Five Nights. Five Nights at the Pizzaplex. It's gonna be a massive game. I feel like they could make Five Nights and incorporate everything into Five Nights. Um, I think that'd be very cool. It's called Five Nights at Freddy's, so why wouldn't it be Five Nights? But now I'm siding onto the one night, and a lot of people have told me that it's going to be one night, and I see why people believe it's one night, um, and I'm kind of siding with them now. It does say that the young boy has been trapped overnight and he has to survive until dawn. But that makes me wonder, how are they going to fit all of this content, all of these boss battles and everything, all the storytelling, in just one night? And that is what I'm questioning right now. Unless maybe this game is in real time, which I don't, I don't know if I can see that happening. Unless it's in real time, yeah, I, I don't know how they're going to do it. But it does seem to be in one night, so um, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see with that one. Um, release date, 16th of December, um, and then it goes to the system requirements, and it says that it is 70 gigabytes. 70 gigabytes! This game is massive. Crazy massive. So, I don't know, it's just, it's so massive. 
It's- <laughs> I don't know how they're going to fit everything inside of it. Please do not quote me. I just realized what I said. I just realized what I said. So, yeah, 70 gigabytes. Like, there's gonna be a lot. And if it's all one night, like, you, you see what I mean. If it's all one night, how, how is it gonna be 70 gigabytes? I guess maybe because the location is crazy. I was gonna say big, but I probably shouldn't. That would be another euphemism. It, it's gonna be a vast pizzaplex. <laughs> um, and there's gonna be a lot to do, and I reckon there's gonna be a lot of side quests as well. We've been talking about that. Um, maybe one of them is the truth behind the pizzaplex. We might have multiple endings as well. That's one thing. Um, just because there aren't five nights doesn't mean there's going to be uh, a lot of different ways to go and a lot of different things to do. Uh, I feel like it is probably going to be one night with loads of minigames, with loads of cutscenes, with loads of endings. So um, I, I hope that's how it works. Um, and I hope it isn't just one ending, like it's a linear game where we escape the pizzaplex and Gregory's like, yay! And then we go home and eat popcorn and watching the immortal and the restless. I hope it's not like that. Anyway, we also have some screenshots, some more screenshots of the game. Um, a lot of them we've seen before. We've got the trailer of the game here. Then we've got um, Glamrock Chica, a very nice uh, Glamrock. Uh, it's always, it's the beak, the beak of the Chica. It's great. Uh, it's a fantastic, um, a fantastic uh, addition to Glamrock Chica. Um, I feel like Vanny's gonna like rip her, her beak off or something. And then that's how she's going to go savage. I don't know. I, that's just a theory, um, but yeah, I feel like this also could be a like a cutscene to a boss battle, maybe? I don't know if we're going to have boss battles with all of the Glamrock animatronics, but that would be very cool. I know Montgomery, we're definitely going to have a boss battle with him. Um, speaking of Montgomery, let's go to his screenshot quickly. Um, I feel like this is also the beginning of a, of a boss battle. I feel like he's going to come in on one of these rides uh, and then like jump and then and then that's the boss battle starting and then we have to run away from him or something, I don't know. Um, we also have a look at the main kind of hub. Um, this could be... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like we'll always have access to our watch, obviously. Press triangle. Um, yes. This seems to be the entrance of the, of the Peterplex. Uh, there seems to be a staff bot. There's not really much else to to pick out here. We've already seen quite a lot of these these places before. Um, there's a Glamrock Chica in the... What is that? That's This is like the changing rooms, I guess. Um, it looks like she's glitching out as well. She's like, like a, kind of like a zombie, a zombie robot. Um, very cool. There seems to be a very cool uh, Glamrock Freddy bin in the bottom right hand corner. That's cool. Uh, and also, point out, uh, just to point out, we are in Glamrock Freddy here, in, in this, uh, in the screenshot, we are in Glamrock Freddy. It says exit to press, uh, uh, exit by pressing square, um, we can still use our watch. We have five battery power, um, so I feel like you can only use Glamrock Freddy for a certain amount of time, possibly. I also think... Yeah, we're in Glamrock Freddy for the for the big the um the hub screenshot as well, so um that's cool. And he's on low battery here, so I yeah I don't know what that means. Uh, Music Man, we see a very cool close up of Music Man. It's this is sick. This is so sick. Um, there's some, there's some nice arcade games here. I wonder if we're going to be able to play them. I think we probably will be able to. I cannot read them though because they are a bit blurry, so I think that will be saved for the game. Uh, and then we have the In Your Dreams robots, the staff bots. Uh, these are definitely staff bots that have gone savage. Um, I, I, yeah, as a follow-up from my video where we talked about them, they're definitely staff bots, yeah. So anyway, what do you guys think of this? Uh, I'm so excited, we've got 14 days left. That's two weeks, we're two weeks away from the release of Security Breach. How are you feeling? Um, I, what are you excited for the most about this game? And um, any more thoughts and theories? I would love to hear in, in the comments below. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Goodbye.